Today on Sonoran Living Live, it's time for our beauty marketplace. The style coach is in the studio teaching us the art to wearing scarves without having it look like an afterthought. All right, let's uh, kick I'm it off. that way, right? Oh, you meant to do I'm that. A, I'm a giver, remember? <laughs> All right, uh, so what do uh, all those scarves that you have buried in the bottom of your drawer, what are you going to do with all of them? Well, we have it enlisted the help from our expert. This is Jill Lane, our style coach. And before we get to that, which dress did you like the best? You know, I'm kind of partial to three because Good. I like that color. And to me, there's going to be so much black. Why not pick something with color? Right, perfect. Yeah, yeah great minds think alike. You are teaching exactly. us. You are really teaching <laughs> us well. Okay, so we are talking scarves today. Yes. I, I have a lot of these and they don't see the light of day. They just right. sort of hang there with my They're belts. They're buried in the bottom of the closet. Mm -hmm. And I love that we have all the French students here today because so many of the best scarves are made in France. Uh -huh. And those are the ones I brought here today okay, to show so you. How do we wear them? What's so the secret? These are just really easy tips, Andy, that I'm going to show you that anybody can do. Now, square scarves are the most versatile in okay. terms of tying. There's endless, endless options for tying. What you're going to do? Lay, I'm going to lay this down so we can. Okay, perfect. I'm just, just going to. I'm going to move this move right that here. all together. Yes. Sure, that's for something else. But what you're going to want to do is take your square scarf, and all you have to do is tie it in half so that it forms a triangle. Okay. And then what we're going to do, because we would never want to put a pin in the silk because that would ruin the silk. So and that gonna, would probably get us. Right. No, I mean, right, I right. Would poke myself. You don't want to poke yourself <laughs> either, right? So both things are bad. So we're going to slip a pin over the end. That's all we're doing is slipping the pin through. And here are our lovely model Tara. I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm just going to tie this in the back. And if you'll notice what I did with this combination is there are some wild cats in the scarf. Uh -huh. And then I did a panther pin. So you could do this with like a floral pin and a floral scarf. You could do a bird pin and a bird scarf. You kind of see where I'm going with this whole thing. Could you really wear scarves with everything, whether you're wearing pants or a dress? Or yes. it, it, it's just an they're, accent piece, right? They're so chic, and there's something, they're classic, and they just take an otherwise kind of ho-hum outfit okay. up a whole other notch. Great. Let's see what so, else you could do with this scarf. I know you've got a lot of tricks up I your do. sleeve. I do. I have many. <laughs> and the other thing to keep in mind is that scarves can be worn as clothing, which many people don't think about. Again, we're dealing with all square scarves here today. Look Ooh, at I this like that gorgeous one. That's one. So with Tara, again, what I'm going to do is just tie it here at the top, make a quick little tie here for TV. Is this the clothing part? So are we this to pretend clothing. that that's all she's yeah. wearing? But okay. of course, you want to make sure that it's really nice and tight at the yes, top so you, you do. have no wardrobe <laughs> malfunctions whatsoever. <laughs> then we're going to just tie it in the back. I'm just going to hold it for now. But you can see it's really nice and loose. Very pretty, and then the back would just be a flash right. of skin. And this is so great in the summer, you know, when it's a million degrees out and you're looking for something light. Right, or, or resort wear. wear. You know, it exactly. looks like something you'd wear to, to the pool. Right. With a great little pair of shorts or a very, you know, wide bottom leg trousers. Love I would it. recommend this as well. And then another thing that I love to do is take one of these, and you want to take the opposite side this time, right in the center. And you're going to tie a real quick little is knot. Is this like the one you're wearing? Are you well, doing that no. one? Okay. This one is, this one's a little more involved. Okay. So I so can't show it to you on TV as easily. But you're just going to tie it on the opposite side. And this adds a great little punch of color. Here we are. Great little punch of color. And it's supposed to look a little messy like this. But oh, it yeah. just adds some color to whatever outfit. Brings the whole scarf up. And... Again, it's you know, just a I, really fun look. I like this because sometimes the other ones, I feel like it looks like a cowboy bandana. Right, like, exactly. You know, if like you just the cowboys tie it in wore. Half. And this one so, just definitely dresses it up a little bit. And this one, you can see I didn't quite tie it in the center. But, you know, at first, if you don't succeed, try again. Sometimes you'll yeah. tie this the first time. It won't be quite right. So then you just, you know, make your second attempt. I love it. So the last one is perhaps my favorite of all. And this is just great. You know, again, in the summertime or here in Arizona when it's so warm, that what happens much of the time is we're wearing a little black dress, but we go in some place. It's a little dress, mm -hmm. but then it's so cold inside with the AC. So this is just an instant shawl. And what you do is you're going to want to take your scarf again, tie both ends together on either side. Very, very easy. Hopefully everybody can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to slip this. Turn it inside out. Oh my out. goodness. It's just an instant shawl. Now I didn't... So then Actually, she just puts her arms yes, through it. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to have you slip this here, dear. Oh, my goodness. And slip this through this side. Oops. I mean, I don't know how much it would totally. Well, yeah, It's look just at that. a very cute little flash of color that you can see from the front and the back. Very nice. Yeah. Boy, those are four 
very different ways to right. wear one and so easy scarf. less than a minute for each and then again Perfect. I think you put the purse down there yes. But if you have a purse that you're just like oh it's boring you know what you just take a scarf you fold it into the center you just keep folding until it's one long strip and then all you want to do here is just tie it around your handle and voila a voila all right you're I'm gonna to do go. something to you that my kids teacher does kiss okay. your brain kiss your brain okay and say thank you thank you you got lots of good stuff up there. Thanks, all. <laughs> Thanks to Mrs. Benjamin for that. All right, Jill, thank you so much. And uh, we are going to have all of these tips from Jill. And you can uh, sign up for her Secrets of Style workshops. Yeah, they start on Tuesday at Girlfriend University, and they run for three weeks. Just give her a call to sign up for the classes. Her number is right there on your screen. Don't you like that stuff? Jill, I, ask, brain. I want to ask Jill one question, though. The long, skinny ones that so many of us have, the more like rectangular, are those in style? Still? Those are very much in style. They're just not as versatile, Stephanie, in oh, terms gotcha. of tying them, but they're definitely in style. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you. Kiss your brain. Kiss your brain. <laughs>